Hello guys, welcome to episode two of uh, our short analysis of various teams. And today, today we have Sri Lanka, the the Asia Cup winners. We discussed defending champions Australia yesterday, uh, and Sri Lanka is a really exciting team. And although they they also have to qualify uh, to the to the round of twelve, so uh, currently they they uh, in a in a fight off in the round one, where where they'll probably qualify. Uh, but we uh, we see them as a threat as, as like title contenders if not serious title contenders then dark horses so ashwin first of first of all what do you what do you make of sri lanka they are in good form they are in good form and uh, considering they have won the asia cup they will be going in with a lot of confidence and a lot of new found aggression that they have they showed during the asia cup so they came out hungry they came out angry and they were certainly playing like the sri lankan uh, tigers that we know or lions that we know that they ca- used to play as yeah it's 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 what i call the silverwood uh, effect so that that basically uh, you know he uh, the legacy that trevor bailes had left and that silverwood chris silverwood the coach he had followed uh, followed uh, Tre- trevor bailes in the role and that was england's ideology and he's He's brought that uh, into the Sri Lankan team, but what's also helped him uh, is, is someone like a Dasun Chanaka. So you know, in Sri Lanka, like there, there have been times when there have been six captains playing in the eleven. Uh, but but Dasun Chanaka is someone you know he he comes across as a nice guy, but 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 he he delivers he delivers with the bat he delivers with the ball. He's a he's an excellent fielder, leads by example, calm individual. But he demands that respect in that uh, dressing room, so I think that is basically helping them. And and the team is you can you can easily see that the team is backing him. You know they are behind him. So uh, th- so you know th- that uh, especially in this format in T20 cricket, um, I think Sri Lanka Sri Lanka have something uh, really really good which they've done in the last six to eight months. And just to add, uh, before the Asia Cup, you had named Sri Lanka as the potential winners. During one of our Instagram lives, I I I I said I definitely see uh, them uh, as someone you know as a team that will reach the finals when everyone thought pre-decided that it was uh, Pakistan versus India. I, because I'm telling you, you know, uh, I was watch, watching that T20 series where we remember uh, in Sri Lanka where uh, Australia recently went and Dasun Shanaka he pulled off that incredible chase. throughout that series you know like I, i i basically saw sri lankan cricket change because they were look you got to remember uh, these the, these are emotional people who play cricket also like they also have emotions right and they they were that particular series they were playing for a far greater cause because of you know the economic environment in sri lanka and the trouble that the country is going through so you know the support of the crowd in these difficult times they have pol- they have had political difficulties which i won't like to elaborate on uh, but is known to the world uh, you know so so that actually bound i think that bound the team together so it it was I, I like that like the glue that finally bound them together because before that i, I think for the last 6 to 7 years you didn't see them playing like a team you know uh, someone or the other had a problem with mean, someone or the other there were disciplinary issues if you remember last year in england uh, two or three players were i think sent back because of uh, because they broke the bio bubble and they were just roaming very unprofessional but i think um, sometimes you know adversity can 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 help you and bring you together as a group and i think that's worked wonderfully uh, well for sri lanka so uh, in, in enough about that let's come to our topic so let's start with the strengths weaknesses opportunity threat do you want to go uh, so what is sri lanka's strength their core strength ashwin according to you i think before that let's start with the squad the 15 member squad no yeah definitely we can we, we can do that yeah actually that's a good idea so that people have an idea uh, as to you know what they have in front of them right so the squad is uh, patum nesanka kusal mendes charit asalanka danushka gunatilake banuka rajapaksha dashun sanaka the captain dhananjay deshilva vanindu hasaranga chamika karnaratne dushmanta chamira lahiru kumara dilshan madushanka mahesh dikshana and jeffrey vandersen 
so uh, like pretty almost the same squad as there was in the asia cup but i think uh, lahiru kumara and dushmant chamira are co- their two lead pacers are coming back after injury and i think they didn't have their services in the asia cup right but but in, but in australia their pace these two guys and their pace will be important unlike the uae so um, uh, what what do you, what do you think is their biggest strength ashwin the biggest strength is their naturally attacking batsmen you yes. come some amazing stroke players if you see uh, uh, someone like kusal mendes and uh, patum nisanka the way they attacked the bowlers namely the indian bowlers yes they did not have a final good final two games both against pakistan once in the final game of the super four and then the asia cup final but throughout the tournament they were putting on some decent runs on the board at the top of the order and giving the sri lankans a good start and then when you add a naturally talented batsman like sharit aslanka what he lacks in attacking stroke play i am not saying that he cannot attack but what he lacks it he is a pretty intelligent batsman he accumulates runs then obviously one of the find of sri lankan cricket over the last 18 months has been banuka rajapaksha so there has there is no doubt that he is the one to watch out for do you agree with me on this I definitely agree with the strength because because you know and that was one reason why why I had before the Asia Cup uh, you know I had picked them as one of the finalists uh, because you know in T20 cricket sometimes averages are overrated not always but sometimes averages are overrated so uh, if three of your batsmen get a 35 of let's say 18 balls that's better than one one batsman batting through and scoring 70 or 50 balls you know what i mean but in right. but in an odi cricket you you would you would need those big scores and one of one of sri lanka's uh, strength like you pointed out is the natural flair uh, you know uh, this format that is why this format is the most suitable for for these type of players uh, because they, they they don't have any inhibition they want to attack from ball one and which is also what makes someone like a banuka rajapaksa charita sri lanka these you know especially these two left handers very very dangerous um the other other strength as i said is the captaincy um you know i am i am a huge fan of dasun chanaka and and the, and the temperament that he shows uh, you know he's he's not too hyper after a victory and he's not too down after a loss and i think a team like sri lanka a young team they they need that sort of semblance of balance and i think that is another strength uh, but coming coming to coming to the weakness i think that that it has to be their fast bowling uh they they've been proven to be really really expensive especially in the death um you know um uh, yes there were good signs uh from a few new ball of new ball bowlers in the asia cup uh but but they constantly uh, have to had to change because of injuries uh suranga lakmal is no more now uh, in no, he's retired from international cricket um he was he was a consistent uh, performer uh their two lead pacers as i mentioned at, at the top of the show uh, they're coming back from injuries so uh, lahiru kumara and dushpant chamira uh, but even even, even uh, they like we, we saw chamira like he was really expensive in the ipl and then lsg who paid a smart sum of money for them they had to bench him oh yes he, he like he has that x factor in him and you need the pace in australia so you probably start with him but i think that their fast bowling is their big weakness and considering the fact that kumara is i think coming after nearly 9 month layoff last we saw him was in that mohali test where he limped off after i think two overs or something uh, you, you so you probably won't won't see him play all the matches maybe a madhu shanka will will come in for a couple of games or maybe they start with a madhu shanka and then ease in ease in lahiru kumara uh, but but irrespective i still feel that their weakest suit is their fast bowling right so coming to opportunities as per me if you ask me i would go with their spin bowling i think this is an amazing opportunity for someone like vanindu asaranga especially mahesh tikshana to shine on that big stage uh, i have been particularly impressed with how tikshana has shaped up over the past few months you know obviously playing under mst at csk oda helped him a lot he's he seems a bowler who has good head on his shoulders and he doesn't get faced by the fact that he's he's wo bolta na dilair banta hai wo pitne ko bhi taiyar hai he's actually ready to get hit also but he again comes in with the same intensity and gets the job done 
so this has to be the biggest opportunity for sri lanka what do you think no it, it is an opportunity it is definitely the biggest opportunity and do elaborate on your point i would like to say that you know it it is an opportunity in more ways than one in the truest sense of the term it is an opportunity for hasaranga to stamp his class as a world class white ball player you know because because he he in and amongst one of the like best uh, spinners he he takes most wickets but but he some somehow flies under the radar you don't talk of him as, in the same breath as like a rashid khan or 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 a, a uzi chahal for or adam zampa for that matter you know but i feel he's 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 that good and and uh, the and, the, and i think rcb showed that in the auction that uh, obviously he's a great batsman great fielder good package but but just as as, as a bowler i feel Risk spinners in Australia, those big grounds that will help him. And Thik Shana, as you said, he's a mystery spinner. So th- those are the two. Like that's ideally what you need in a T20 team. You need a, 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 a you know someone a, a risk spinner, a classical risk spinner with a good googly uh, who can bowl to right handers and left handers both, and, and then a mystery spinner. So traditionally, where spinners struggle, these are the two varieties of spinners that have prospered. Uh, so that's a huge opportunity for them. I completely agree with you, and especially with teams like South Africa, England, New Zealand, Australia, who who might struggle to pick a Thik Shana, or even if they pick pick him, you know, if they, if they might struggle to attack. Uh, so that's a huge opportunity for them. And coming to the threats, what do you think is the biggest threat that is face, staring Sri Lanka right in the face? So, like obviously we discussed yesterday, the, like. Injuries are a threat to any team, but Sri Lanka seem to be Sri Lanka and India, in fact, now seem to be more prone to injuries than any other team in world cricket currently. Um, uh, you know, uh, so obviously that uh, because they have a couple of key bowlers coming back from injury, they uh, it was quite interesting for a team which generally has three or four wicket keepers in the playing eleven. Like I was just thinking, I, I think there's only Kusal Mendes in the fifteen. Obviously, yeah. they'll. They, that's not a big issue because they'll have they'll have a reserve, uh, you know, in their two three reserves they'll have a wicket keeper uh, who can draft in. But then please remember that once you are out of the fifteen and someone comes in, you can't come back in. So you have to go for good. So that that will be a, a, a difficulty for them. So that's a little bit of a threat. The and I think their their relative inexperience. Uh, the Asia Cup would have helped them, but that's not a World Cup. Let's be honest. And these are very very different conditions. Inexperience, uh, inexperience in uh, Australian conditions for these set of players. I think that is going to be a threat. Uh, you know how they cope up with the conditions, with the bigger ground, uh, with, with the faster pitch, with the bounce. Uh, that that will be very interesting for me and probably their biggest threat. Right. So uh, going into their first game, which is against Namibia on the 16th. Obviously, it's the first qualifying game of the World Cup this Sunday. As we speak, it's uh, not that far away. So, what do you think will be the likely eleven for Sri Lanka in the first game? Yeah, in fact, it's tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, so uh, yeah, it's tomorrow. Likely, li- li- likely, likely playing eleven. So, uh, you know, the very successful combination in the Asia Cup. Uh, they'll open with Kushal Mendes and Patum Nisanka. Uh, one down. Uh, they can, they have two options they can either go uh, you know push a guna tilaka to one down and then dhananjay de silva comes in two down or three down or, but i would i would uh, like to go with the very very talented charit asalanka at one down i know he had he, he had a bad asia cup but but i'll back him uh, charit asalanka at one down uh, then again guna tilaka at two down uh, i'll have um, uh, obviously bhanuka rajapaksa at three down uh, the captain comes in at four down dasun shanaka Uh, at five down is Vanindu Hasranga. Six down, you'll uh, you'll have someone like a uh, Karuna Ratne, who 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 also like ap- apart from Vanindu Hasranga gives them the all rounder balance. Uh, then uh, at seven down you have Mahesh Thik Mahesh Thik Shana. He can he can bat a bit and two uh, and then two paces. Uh, so Lahiru Kumar, uh, Dushwant Chamira probably at eight down and Lahiru Kumar at nine down. And, You might alternate Kumara with Madhu Shanga, depending on the conditions and the opposition. So that'd be my likely playing eleven. I think I would go in with the same eleven as you said, because I was looking at 
a possibility that they would want to have a continuity with the team that won the Asia Cup. You know, not disturb the balance of the side too much. And obviously, Dashan Shanaka is a pretty low, low key captain, but you cannot count out the fact that Chris Silverwood has already done wonders with this squad with the amount of time that he's been with. So one cannot discount them out. But with that being said, this is going to be an entirely new ball game for Sri Lankan cricket and Chris Silverwood. So with that, uh, any closing remarks, Siddharth? Yeah, just uh, li- just uh, like to tell our audience, like if you if you you know uh, if you're liking our effort. And trust me, this takes a lot of effort to bring bring it to you. Uh, please, please subscribe to our to our channel. Give us your love. And if you want want to read an in depth SWOT analysis on all all these teams, please go to our website cricketcult.com, where Ashwin here has has written an elaborate uh, this strength, weakness, opportunity, threat table of of all these eight teams that we are uh, that that are in contention. And of course, uh, we are Cricket Cult official at Instagram. Please keep giving us your love and and keep supporting us. Thank you, thank you, Ashwin. Thank you, thank you for joining us. And obviously, of uh, cult cricket at Twitter. Yeah, and we'll be back tomorrow with with another team. So stay tuned.